All right, thank you, Brian. An initiative to keep bars and restaurants safer is expanding in the Dayton area. The YWCA of Dayton is taking its Gem City Safe Bar Program to Brown Street in hopes of preventing sexual assaults and violence near UD's campus. Two News reporter Riley Phillips is joining us live from Brown Street after talking to a student who helped bring the program to the UD area. Riley? Brooke and John, yes, I'm outside of Timothy's Pub and Grill, which is the first bar on Brown Street to undergo the Gem City Safe Bar training. Now, the YWCA started this program last year, but it was a UD student who pushed to get more bars and restaurants around campus involved. Sophia Garcia is a senior at the University of Dayton and the student body president. Since the beginning of her college career at UD, she's been working hard to be a champion for victims of sexual assault. From my own personal experience as a survivor, I thought it was super important. I didn't want others to feel the way I felt. Even though my experience was pre-college, you still know what happens once you get on campus. After learning about the Gem City Safe Bar program through the YWCA of Dayton, she knew she needed to bring those resources to the heart of UD nightlife, Brown Street. I thought to myself, this would just be great to start doing here because there are a multitude here that I think would really benefit from it and also just being able to help the students was one thing that I really wanted to do is promote safety. The Gem City Safe Bar program trains restaurant and bar staff to know the signs of sexual violence and how they can stop it. We provide them with a variety of strategies, um, bystander intervention strategies that um, allow them to, when they're analyzing the situation, step in with the safest thing that is, or the safest method of prevention for themselves um, and for the environment as well. Garcia's hope is by bringing this program to bars close to campus, more students will feel safe and less afraid when enjoying a night out. People do get worried. People do feel scared. People have gotten into situations that they wish they would have had more help. And as a student representative, it was my job to listen to those and try to find a way that I can help, even in just the, like the little bit that I could. And in my search, I was like, okay, the Safe Bars program, that's a great place to start. And this is just the beginning. Garcia and the rest of the YWCA team hope more bars on Brown Street will take this training. For more information and how to sign up for the training, just click on this story over on WDTN.com. Live in Dayton, Riley Phillips, 2 News, working for you.